doing it. And we're going to discuss why and how. So a while ago, I came across this chart. And we'll put it on the screen. It's the net worth tiers from 10K to a billion. And some really interesting insights arose from observing this. When I noticed the most prevalent pattern was there is a huge correlation between net worth tier and the degree that one invests in business ownership. The more that people invested in businesses that they owned, the way that they allocated their funds essentially would decide their net worth. This was really interesting. I realized, okay, so billionaires, Elon, LeBron, right? They don't simply make a billion dollars in cash. They don't simply own a billion dollar asset. What they've done is they've allocated their resources in a particular way. And when we understand this pattern of how we can allocate our resources, we can put ourselves on a trajectory for that same timeline. So when we look at this chart of the net worth tiers, we see that as we go higher and higher up, we invest the majority, close to like 80% of our net worth into business ownership. Why? Businesses are the highest returning asset class. Entrepreneurs and private equity investors are the richest people. And it's not by happenstance is by understanding this allocation method. So businesses have a potential to 100x, to 1000x even over time. And other asset classes, whether that be real estate or jewelry, watches, these other things that we can own don't give us the same potential of return as a private company that we own. Now, how can we invest and allocate properly to get to a billion dollars? It comes down to beating this machine. If we have a really simple concept of inputs and outputs, if we input a dollar into this machine that's the business then the business that we own has this capability to push out ten dollars so when we look in the totality of our money, say the business makes a million dollars. If the intention is growth, if we put that million dollars back into the business, we give ourselves the potential now for the business to return us $10 million. Now we have $10 million. But if we take a million dollars up to 10, and invest that back into the business, we'll get another 10. But if we take the 10 and we invest the 10 back into the business, now the business can return us 100. And this understanding this pattern of allocation is how billionaires unlock wealth. In addition 
to understanding how the allocation methods work practically. There's a lot of ins and outs, details, minutia about owning a business, picking industries, best practices, all of that. But overall, the most important factor is one's self-concept. Our self-concept is what it comes down to. So to say you are a billionaire, I am a billionaire. Who am I? And having conviction and understanding who you are is going to lead to you taking the requisite actions, creating habits, having the beliefs, taking the risks, making it so that the butterfly effect will unfold in your favor. Thinking about it in terms of quantum, if we have a wave and we know light exists as a particle and a wave, in the wave function, all possibilities exist. Faith is knowing everything exists. There are X, X, X spots on this quantum wave. And this might reveal the probability X1 is 10%. The probability of observing this other X could be 5%. And the probability of observing this third X could be 0.01%. The probabilities actually don't matter because you are the observer. And so you simply choose. Now the common predictable outcome might be the 10% X, but you have the power. So as we observe 0.01%, and if we say that is B, then we observe B. This is how we create the appearances in our lives. There are so many practical insights for understanding how to build business, but none of that will serve its highest potential without one's conviction in their self-concept, in their identity. It's our responsibility to see each other through the eyes of God. And so I'm a billionaire and I see you and you are a billionaire. To want something is to have it. Desires are simply intentions that we place ahead of our self-concept in time. You have it now, if you choose to. Really understanding these things is a big unlock. And when you get into higher level rooms, from my experience, there is no flex materially. The car, the house, the jewelry, the partner, right? At the highest levels, people have these things. But what they strive for, what matters when you want to network and connect with these people is who are you? Who are you? The person that can have the highest level of conviction in their I am is the most valuable person in those rooms.
we can do anything. We have a limitless potential. Again, seeing from the quantum wave that all possibilities exist. Faith is knowing all possibilities exist now. And how can we choose? Be still and choose our intention our intended state space. And again, once we do that, we'll watch the videos, we'll read the books, we'll talk to the people, we'll network in the right place, we'll be drawn to actualize our vision. Because as within, so without. Now, thinking about it practically, right? If you're starting a business and you close a deal, there's a huge incentive to personally reward yourself. Always along the line, there are going to be so many things that you can invest in outside of the business. But taking a lesson from Andrew Carnegie, put all your eggs in one basket and watch the basket. And not until that basket genuinely overflows do we look at getting more baskets and filling those. We can choose to double down on ourselves. The most important thing that we can do to grow wealth is to invest in our ability to generate value. The more we invest in our ability to generate value, we're essentially making our machine be able to input one and output 10. Then input 10 and output 100. Then input 100 and output 1000. Diversification is a strategy to keep the money. Investing in other people's assets for diversification is a way to keep money once you have it. But it's very important to understand to grow wealth, the simplest pattern to understand this is to allocate our funds like the billionaire from day one. You can allocate your 10K, your 100K, your million, your hundred million, the same way as the billionaire. And over long enough time horizons, with this self-concept and with this allocation strategy, this is how you unlock this timeline. I have met billionaires and you realize that they're also people. They didn't always have it. And so they essentially created this reality for themselves. Again, because everything is possible, what precludes anyone from having potential? Nothing. We all have this timeline. There's infinite timelines. We can all choose this timeline. But how can we have conviction in our understanding of our self-concept and apply with self-discipline an allocation strategy that will unveil inwardly 
our intention for wealth at the highest level. Now, I'm going to start making videos in this format, drawing on the screen, talking to you guys, and schedule posts right now. We'll schedule posting for the next year. So subscribe, like the video, look forward to videos like this at least for the next year or so on a monthly basis. If not more often, we'll see how time permits things. And I know this provided a new level of clarity. So share this. Share this not because I'm asking you to, but because you can help someone that you want to see win get there. Prosperity, peace, and blessings. I'm Jay. This is different. And we are unlocking limitless potential. You already have it. Isn't that awesome? How cool is that, right? You already have it. <laughs> you already have it. Now, go do something cool. Ask yourself, what's the coolest thing I could do? And go do it. And have fun. I'll see you there. Peace.